Now I've got about three different angles on this cottage. Now I've got a wide one and uh, on the left you've got a slab of rock um, going out. I've managed to capture Moyal Enio within the frame. I thought that would be more interesting to have that uh, mountain in it. So it's a nice wide shot really and showing the uh, mountains in the back there. I've also gone forward because I do like these uh, kind of ragged out windows on the side here so I've gone close to them with these I don't know what you call these weird looking plants uh, in the foreground and then I've come behind the building where these three rocks boulders really caught my eye I like the way they lined up to the back of the building uh, you've got the green tree bush growing inside the back of the uh, church chapel um, so I thought that was quite interesting so uh, yeah I just reckon I've got about three uh, hopefully decent images of this church chapel who knows so uh, yeah right then um, so I think that's it for here I'm gonna head down now and make my way back uh, might stop at the river I've got uh, I've got a secret waterfall there that I Nobody knows about only me and I'll keep that secret so I might pay a visit to that waterfall well it's not a waterfall it's a nice cascade depending on how much water uh, is in the river so I'll check that out on the way down and I'll uh, I'll leave the images of this uh, chapel up now So these boulders over here have really uh, caught my eye. What I like about it is the way this rock just points towards the quarry over there. But in the middle there you've got the uh, peak of Elidir uh, just standing out. Uh, I think I'm going to go on the uh, long lens here, find a composition using the boulders here in the foreground. And uh, at the moment I'm thinking of a one-to-one -one crop. I, it depends how much... Uh, rooms when I'm going at 70 mil but um, trying to bring a lidded valve a bit closer in which I like so I, yeah I do like the boulders here uh, so I'm gonna try and work it out there's so it's like a line on the right there so they go swing round so uh, I'm gonna take the shot and see how it works <laughs>
I like this cottage. Um, I can see a shot from the other end over there. There's this big sort of trunk of the tree stuck to the wall. Uh, it looks pretty mad. And uh, it's just like the um, trees have sort of grown inside and they've just created a bloody roof on the cottage. Uh, it looks beautiful. So um, I'm going to take an image here. I think from that side over there um, looks best. I'll have a walk around but I'm going to take one shot from there and then uh, I think I, maybe we might find something else but uh, yeah it really looks crazy but yeah beautiful. So uh, I'm going to talk you through the composition here. Um, I'm going to go from this side here I'm going to use this remains of a wall here on the left of the frame just because I like the doorway in the back here um, and then that leads out to this uh, crazy tree that's um, grown out of the wall or growing onto the wall and and it's just a nice wide shot to the bottom and you've got these green lush tree that are just uh, taken over the cottage and uh, put a roof on it so that's the composition um, it looks really nice so probably going at 16 mil to get as much as the roof within the shot as I can um, yeah I might go a bit low just so I can get the uh, top of the mountain on that side just to, uh, to make it more interesting a bit So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down to the uh, river here and uh, grab the shot. I'm not going to be able to vlog down here because of the noise of the water uh, with this mic so that will overpower me. So um, looks a bit different from last time it was here, not as good but uh, I'll get down there and uh, take a shot. Uh, the shot I took here a few years ago is one of my favourite shot, shots, it just looks lovely and uh, what I'll probably do is I'll put a six stop um, if I've got it with me, filter on and uh, slow it down a bit. But uh, I do like this shot. Right, so I've uh, come right down on the bank to get as low as I can. Um, so what I've gone for is a wide shot. I put a six stopper on uh, and tried to get it down to two seconds, one second. Because um, if you go higher than that, it's going to be too blow. You know, the white's just going to be too fluffy and uh, doesn't look quite right. So I've tried about a second or two on it. Uh, see how that works. Um, I've also done a horizontal just so I can have more of the water when it comes in at the bottom over here um, so yeah uh, should make a nice image anyway just looks so different from the last time uh, I came here it's like as if there's a rock missing or something uh, it's well different but uh, yeah it's definitely a, a lovely setting
So I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, it's been quite a long day. Uh, I've been out at it for six hours. Uh, starting to feel tired now, need some food. So yeah, uh, I really have enjoyed this walk. It's been uh, really good and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it too. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, please do subscribe, uh, thumbs up, you know, and all that. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.